Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-month January to January 31st tarot reading. So I did yours last for the monthly readings and I apologize. So for this mid-month reading, I'm going to try to do yours first. Um, one of the first things I feel coming out is some issues, some concerns regarding children. I don't know if um, there might be some, you know, uh, trouble concentration, uh, trouble with concentrating, with the children having trouble with um, their ability to concentrate in a classroom environment, or there's some type of behavioral issues or cognitive, you know, learning issues. So I, I feel like they're being distracted in the classroom, or they're being distracted in some way where it's kind of hard to reach out to them. For others of you, what I do feel here is... Um, if you have a child, especially with a water sign, so if you have a, a, a child with a, a person, uh, your partner is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, um, I feel like there is some back and forth bickering and, you know, difficulties uh, created between you and the, the, the mother or the father of the child. So I do see some issues culminating for the, uh, the next two weeks concerning this particular child with this particular partner for others of you who have um, like some type of an estranged relationship with the mother or the father of your child I do feel that you know you're kind of uh, they're bringing you some news regarding you know behavioral issues or something like that pertaining to a child and you both are kind of like at a loss as to what to do and you both are going to need to either, you know, consult somebody outside of the relationship, like a specialist. I do see behavioral, um, you know, like therapists. I do feel a speech therapist specifically, and I do see a mental health therapist. So that's coming through. I feel like if you have already uh, taken this path in the, in the, the past, I feel that you're going to have to... Uh, find somebody else like um you know go with a brand new person rather than go going with referrals and then others of you who do not have children who don't have the same issues with children i see somebody from the past coming back in and this person is showing up as somebody who was quite controlling and quite manipulative in the past and i feel like they're they're coming in with a peace offering but it seems very false so you want to be very careful and i feel like they're going to weave you a very very enticing um you know like um they're 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 giving you a sob story and you fire signs all three of you leo sagittarius and aries you you are like you're you're heavily affected when somebody gives you a sob story you just want to you feel bad and you just want to you know do something to help and I'm telling you now, I feel that it's a sob story and they're, they're feeding you some lies and they know that, you know, you get soft around the knees very easily for a sob story. So I feel that this energy is coming through to tell you to be a little bit careful because I feel like you're presented with something and um, not all of it is, is truthful. So be a little bit careful and I feel like you can't really separate truth from, uh, from lies when you're dealing with this person. And this is a person that you've been dealing with. Um, they're saying about, you know, 10 months, so sometime in 2016, so just be careful about that, okay? On the other hand, on the uh, positive note, I do sense that a lot of you, the way that you are looking at money is uh, drastically changed. So I feel that for the past few years, a lot of you might have struggled financially, but this is the month in which you're not letting your money control you. You're starting to see that, you know, it is a means to an end. And while it's nice to have all these financial resources at your disposal, I feel that you have a healthier uh, connection, a healthier way of looking at money where you're making it work for you and you're making, you're using it in a way to facilitate, to ease the, uh, you know, the burdens in your life. So... I feel that, you know, having control over money, having financial resources flowing in a really predictable or even in a very, uh, a much more stable manner is going to be uh, coming through for the next two months. And I do see the energy alleviating. They're saying in the month of August, there are major, major um, turnarounds for the better concerning financial resources. Okay, so if this has been something you were struggling with for the past four years, I feel that there is heavy like alleviation 
coming through in the August time frame. If this is something that is a little bit more recent, you know, uh, let's just say for the past four months, then I do feel that you have a better grasp. You will have a better grasp on it by uh, August. You will find, you know, ingenious ways to either um, be a lot more resourceful or find like another job that will uh, give you, you know, like more income or more stability coming through in the August time frame. So it looks really good. It looks very stable. I do feel uh, some of you, there's something about here about medicine, like um, make sure you finish up um, they're, they're saying some type of a, a regimen, like a medical regimen, and they're saying like for about, you know, the, the next like seven days or so. So that's going to take us until the end of, I guess like towards the last week of um, January and things are going to, you know, the, the fog is going to start lifting. Okay, the, the fog is going to alleviate for you. You will have a better idea as to how to progress forward and how to proceed. They're saying there's a major decision about finances being made in the beginning of the February time frame. So come um, the month of February, everything is going to be new regarding your financial situation and the conflict if you are dealing with like a, f a father or mother figure of your child, th if there has been conflictual arrangements and things like that, it is going to alleviate for you come January, okay? So everything looks pretty good so far. You're getting some concrete answers and you're getting like some uh, final touches for those of you dealing with somebody who has been very, very difficult and it's difficult for you to extract from them. I feel like uh, February is going to be a turning point for many of you. So best of luck with everything. Take care of yourself.